Hi, I'm Emily, and you're laying on a beanbag at VidCon. At least, I hope you're on a beanbag. This is basically meant to be watched lying down. Sometimes if you move the headset up and down on your face, it can make the 3D a little more effective, but as you can see from the large black lines in front of your eyes, the Oculus only has about 10 pixels, so the clarity's not great yet. Don't go tilting your head side to side just to see how far you can get before you break my fancy 3D setup. You're not that person. You are not that troll. No, go ahead, do it. It's fun. It shows you the limitations of the technology. And sure, if you look at the top and the bottom real closely, you'll be able to tell that they are not in stereoscopic 3D. But hey, that is not my fault. That is the fault of math. Don't blame me, blame math. So, how's VidCon? What have you been up to? What's the coolest thing you've seen so far? Hopefully after you're done watching this, you'll say this. There's a fly in the office in 3D! Woo! I'm not a vlogger, I'm more of a script girl myself, so we have to excuse my poor quality of extemporaneizing in front of the camera. Extemporaneizing, not a word. Extemporizing is the word that you were looking for there, self. Good to know. Maybe, maybe you'll just have to make cameras and they'll be in 3D and 360 and you'll put them in an Oculus and people will put that Oculus on their face and then it'll be amazing. Except for, I mean, if the content that you put in the video is only just like you talking about the content of the video, it might get a little boring, like instruction manually. But hey, on the other hand, it is a really, really new thing that not that many people have experienced yet. So maybe you should just let people understand it and tell them all about it and let them think about it and let them look at it for the very first time and not assume that everyone knows everything about it just as much as you do. Rant. We don't wanna just know what tech heads think of it and what they would wanna do with it. We also wanna know what vloggers and comedians and actors and short filmmakers would wanna do with it. And you're at VidCon, so you probably make video or at least help other people make video or like video or something about video. Anyways, thanks for watching. I know it's kind of a demo, but it would be great to know what you think and what you think you could use it for.